If you are doing a 23 in 2023 or 24 before 2024, or if, like me, you're doing a 101 things list, then this video is for you. Today we are going to be populating my new 101 things list for the year ahead, but first we're going to have a look at my list from this year and see what I did or didn't get done. In terms of my general process for doing my 101 things list, you can see I have some action planning here for that list. So this one is a little bit broader than just the population of the list, but also goes into how I want to kind of use it and how I want to document it. Much like my goal setting video from yesterday, we had the same kind of process in that one. So we have the ideal outcome for the end of the year. What do I want this goal to look like in terms of how I've actually accomplished it? My metrics of success and how I'll know that I'm making progress. And then my action step brainstorming and then a little summary down the bottom here. I've left this entire page open though for brainstorming what I want those 101 things to be. You can see though, in terms of the action steps, the first thing to do is to review the 2022 tasks before I actually get on to the brainstorming of the 2023 tasks. That's what we're going to do first. My 101 things list lives in my yearly collections journal, just so then I don't have to rewrite it into every one of my new everyday journals, because I use about three everyday journals a year at the moment, and writing out a list of 101 things three times just isn't the business, not something I want to do. In terms of our review though, we're going to go through in order. So number one, wake up on New Year's Day without a hangover has been completed. For my list, I put the completion box at the end, which uh, I wasn't really satisfied with. I would have much preferred to have it at the start here. So that is something that I have changed for my next year's list. But our second one was to have a weekend getaway. That one happened. Number three was to do an escape room, which happened. Number four was to set up my cricket, which finally happened. Number five was to donate blood. And this is something that I would still like to do, and I'm not going to do it before the end of the year. I have about half a month until the end of 2022, and it's not happening in that amount of time. So for that one, I'm just going to put a little migration arrow, and I will add it to my brainstorm. Number six, have a spa day, hasn't happened. Number seven, host a dinner party, did happen. So that one's all good. I'd probably like to do that again, but I don't think it necessarily needs to be on the 101 things list. Number eight is to make a Pinterest cake, which is still very much something I'd be curious to do. Going to Toast and the Green Expo were both things that were supposed to happen this year. Like, I did actually get tickets to the Green Expo, but when it came to the weekend of it, I just was not feeling up to it, so. I did have a Favourite Things Day, but I would actually like to do that one again, and it's the kind of thing that, by having it on my 101 Things list, I'm more likely to get it done. So have a Favourite Things Day. And while we're here, I know that I want to help Rachel organize her own favorite things day too. So we're gonna put Rachel's favorite things day. Make apple pie, did that. It was absolutely delicious and I will be doing that again. Art and wine night, I still want to do that. I think that'd be a lot of fun, but again, it's not gonna happen before the end of the year, so I can put it on my list. We have sell something I have made, that one happened. Get a nice pair of, nice pair. Get a nice pair of everyday earrings. I, I am conflicted. I don't think I care, if I'm completely honest. So I think I might just put that one down as a dot for now. So a dot effectively means that I'm not going to carry it forward. The nice part is though that because it's just a little dot, if I do decide to migrate it forward, I can just turn that into an arrow. Get a will. I do want to do that. That one's <laughs> kind of important. And then make chicken korma from scratch. I totally want to do that still. That one is very much on my list. Have a staycation. I think we had one in 2021 from memory or maybe 2020. I can't remember which one, but it was a lot of fun and it's a shame we didn't get to do that this year, but I would like to do it next year. I did get around to making an email signature, which was something that had been on my list for quite a while. We have launch a website. I'm actually gonna half cross that off because like, Technically, I did like a soft launch, but I would like to have a hard launch. So hard launch my website. Have good ramen, which is still a priority. So we can move that one forward. Organize the bathroom drawers. This one is half crossed off and I think that honestly it will happen before the end of the year. So I might not write it down on my brainstorming list just yet. If it doesn't happen by the end of the year, then it will probably end up on my 101 things list for next year. 
have a degustation. I would still like to do that. I think that that would be a fun experience. I guess it's really just about finding one in Wellington. Have a picnic and have a solo date. Both of those I would still like to do. Actually, I'm not sure. The picnic one I might put a dot next to because like, I don't really like going outside. I think I just like the illusion of a picnic, but a solo date I think would be a good kind of like outside of my comfort zone type thing to do. Moving over to the other side of the page and thus jimmying things around a bit. Trying cold brew coffee, I kind of just don't think I like, I just don't think I care if I'm honest. <laughs> I don't really drink coffee as it is anyways, and I don't think that a cold brew is gonna really appeal to me, probably. Like, if I was gonna have a drink, it wouldn't be my go-to choice. Like, ever. So, yeah. Upgrade my live streaming setup. I'm kind of in the process of doing that, so we can half cross it off. In theory, it will all arrive by the end of the year, but we will have to wait and see. Paint a watercolor I like. That one, I don't think I will be transferring forward. I just don't prioritize that type of creativity, so I'm just gonna leave it. We did do number 29, replant my garden. We did go on a day trip. We did celebrate my 31st, and thus celebrating my 32nd will be here. We did host patron hangouts. We've hosted monthly ones, which was a lot of fun. Buy a going out dress happened. Make a Bujo basic series. That is something I would like to do. If I can spell basics, not basis. <laughs> the nice part is, is that because this isn't my actual list, I can just be messy here. I can get all the ideas down and then go through them and make sure that they're actually things I wanna do. We did the month of planning series. I would like to do another one. We started the online store, it hasn't Probably been launched yet, but it exists. Write a letter to myself to open it in 2023. I'm gonna say 2024 me letter because that's just something I like to do every year. Buy a 50 plus dollar bottle of wine. That one was done towards the start of the year. I haven't drunk it yet. I'm excited to. Maybe that can be like a New Year's treat to myself or something. Buy a nice dress. I know that we did have the going out dress. I accidentally put a double up here, but then I bought two dresses, so it was fine. Make stewed fruits. I very much want to do that. Ideally, I do it before the end of the year, but realistically, no, it's not going to happen, so. Make stewed fruits. They're really, really tasty. <laughs> stewed fruits. Is that how you spell fruits? No. Fruits. There we go. That looks, that looks better. <laughs> Dye my hair a fun color. So this one was put down because I had been trying to go, I don't know, lighter, blonde-ish for preparation for my wedding, effectively. And I was giving myself a really long run up for that to make sure that I had plenty of time to do it in a way that didn't completely destroy my hair. But then as I got closer to blonde, I realized I didn't really like that for myself. So I ended up just dyeing it like pink and then a little bit purple and a bunch of stuff. So yeah. Quit my day job, totally happened. Put up the shower organizers, also happened. Make homemade bubble tea, that one happened. Try taro bubble tea, also happened. So good amount of progress there. Try Vietnamese coffee. I know that I said before that coffee isn't really for me, but I still think that Vietnamese coffee would be an interesting thing to try because it's made with that sweetened condensed milk. So it's like sweeter than regular coffee, I suppose. Unless you put like a lot of sugar in your coffee, I guess but my family likes it, so I'm gonna give it a try. Celebrate Christmas with my family. I'm not going to check this off and jinx it because my parents aren't here yet, <laughs> but they are coming. They should be here soon, very excited, but we won't check it off just yet because knock on wood and all the stuff. Alrighty, make a reel and make a bullet journal reel happened. Sing in front of an audience happened, and now we are flipping over the page. Trying a B5 and B6 notebook happened, so I think I'm gonna put down Try a square notebook and try a traveler's. That's the size, not the system. Have a social media free day. Yeah, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> I really, I really, really don't. Like, I, I know that eh, social media is bad for you and it's like destroying your self confidence and stuff. Like, yes, I get that, but I don't, I'm not gonna just restrict myself for no reason. That just never has appealed to me, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> Have a readathon with Rachel happened. That was awesome. We actually ended up having two. Buy an iPad and host a book club also happened, and we are continuing our book club, which is awesome. I have populate the full list of 101 things because I got to about uh, August and I hadn't gotten beyond 56, so I then filled it up. 
we have do 22 of the things on my someday maybe list. So I haven't completed 22 yet, I don't think, but we can half cross that off. I think it would be good to have something like that on my list for next year as well, just to make sure that I'm actually checking in with my someday maybe list. You know, I say that, but I actually am pretty sure <laughs> that on my, yeah, here it is, on my 23, 23s in 2023, we have someday maybe tasks being completed on here. So there's no need to put it in my 101 things list as well. Find a new storage solution for my hairdryer. Still technically need to do that, but we haven't finished the bathroom declutter and that should happen before the end of the year. So I am going to leave it open because I think it's going to get done. Get a storage table for my office. That one is not going to happen before the end of the year, but it very much needs to happen. It is something that I need to make more of a priority. Office storage. I think there's another part on here about office storage somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Sort my stickers. Technically have done that in the sense that I decluttered half of them and I think that counts. Do vlogmas for reals, though I forgot the L. I just kind of tucked it in there. That one's half crossed off because we are only halfway through vlogmas, so we'll keep it half crossed off. We have start a self-care journal, which did happen. Design a physical product, which did happen. That one was my badge that got released through Archer and Olive. And then we have design and release a digital product. And technically I have two because I have my spending log, like spending tracker, and also my Notion bundle, which is exciting. So that one has happened. Release a new type of tracker for my patrons. I want to do this. In fact, I was going to do it this month, but life got busy. So that one can get moved over to here. As mentioned, decluttering the bathroom is happening. Like. I don't think I can even really say that it started yet, so I'm not going to cross it off. Host a cocktail night is not going to happen this year because it's just too busy before the end of the year, but I would like to do it, so we can put that on this list too. After the cocktail night, we have tomato soup. I would I would still like to make that, I think. I know that Vogel won't eat it because he doesn't really do tomato, but I want to make it. And I want to have it with a grilled cheese sandwich because that seems to be a thing. Send an email to a brand about doing a review video. Did get done. Actually got done repeatedly. I was very proud of myself. Celebrate Friendsgiving also happened. The fact that go for one intentional walk outside hasn't happened is both <laughs> a little bit sad and very true to my character. And I honestly, I don't want to, I don't want to have that on my list next year. My list is supposed to be for fun things and memory making and that's just not really the business. Have a New Year's Eve goal setting party. That one we are still doing. It is at least scheduled, but just because I don't want to jinx anything, we will not cross it off. Spend Dad's birthday with him. I did get to do. Fully unpack my stuff from school. Wah wah. <laughs> that one hasn't happened, so we are going to migrate that one forward because that is something I want to do. So I just wrote M, not that that's the right letter. We also have make a video to showcase my Patreon and that is something I'd like to do. It's just one of those things that I like feel kind of awkward like advertising myself like that, so I haven't gotten around to it, but I would like to have it there. I think it would be a good resource. Do a sensory deprivation tank is something that I know that Vogel wants to do as well as myself, so that's probably a date night kind of idea. I think they're also just called float tanks. So let's put that down too. Start and finish a new to me solo game. I haven't... I don't think I've played any solo games since I wrote this down. We've been playing The Quarry, which technically could be played by yourself, but we've been playing it together, so I guess that doesn't really count. But I'm also not going to put it on my list for next year because I have 23 games being tracked on there. Making new to me cocktail. I'm probably not going to put that one down either, only because I now have a separate list of cocktails that I want to try and make at some point in my long-term collections journal. Buy a board game? Totally happened. Celebrate mine and Vogel's 10-year anniversary? Also happened. Do an episode of Kai Time with Vogel? I know that this has been like a long time coming, but I want to do it because I think it would be fun and I just like the name of it and Vogel likes cooking and I like video making. Go for high tea? I will transfer that one over because it's been so long since I went for high tea and I love high tea. Play three co-op games with Vogel. We can half cross that one out because I think, like, it, it says play. It doesn't say finish. So there's a possibility we could finish that one off. Use up the spare chocolate I might do before the end of the year. So I'm just going to leave that one there. Same idea with empty the last moving box. So it might happen. So I'm going to leave it. Make good chicken chow mein. I would like to do, but it's not probably going to happen before the end of the year. So we can move that one over. Organize the alcohol slash book cabinet. That's another one that might happen with our end of year reset declutter kind of scenario. So we will leave that. Get side tables for the living room. That one is going to get transferred forward. It's not going to happen before the end of the year. Post 10 notebook slash journal review videos. 
I know it's not going to happen by the end of the year, but I don't feel the need to move it forward. Taking an online class technically has half happened. I'm in the middle of one. I uh, kind of need to get back to that, so I'll be like, finish <laughs> my online class. I did make labels for the pantry containers. That was like my first kind of proper Cricut project, which was very exciting. We have upgraded my YouTube lighting, which technically has happened. I just actually need to set it up. Re-overtake Vogel's gamer score. I'm working on it. I don't think it'll happen by the end of the year, but I'm working on it. Update my Instagram highlight covers did happen. And then we have write my 101 list for 2023, which we notably have started by putting these brainstorming <laughs> items down. So one of the ones is going to be write my 101 list for 2024. That's always the 101st thing, it's how I like to structure my list. Out of interest, I then wanted to go through and count up how many of the things I had completed, how many of the things I had started, and thus, I guess, how many of the things that were not completed on my list. One of the ways that I'm going to be tracking or monitoring my progress on my 101 things goal for 2023 is by comparing it to how much I got done in 2022. So having a combination of 66 things that I've either done, started, or things that I think I might get done before the end of the year, that's not too bad, and then 35 things that weren't done. As I've mentioned previously, I don't really push myself to get my 101 things list completely finished. It's more just like a fun little kind of mini goals type thing, as opposed to a big, you must do all the things in the space of a year. This kind of stuff is supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be fun. It's just a way of doing the things that I've kind of always mused about doing or thought, oh, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, or, oh, I should really try X, Y, Z. That is the purpose of this list. Now, as I have reviewed my 2022 tasks though, it is time to brainstorm for 2023. Notably, already have some here, but nowhere near 101. When it comes to my brainstorming though, the things that I'm thinking about are stuff like, what have I always wanted to do? What are some things I want to try or, you know, have a go at? What are things that I have wanted to buy for a little while that would be, you know, value added to my life? I can also consult some of my prior goal setting stuff that we did the other day because there might be some 101 things lurking in there that I can steal. Speeding that up because brainstorm can be a lengthy process. While I'm doing my brainstorm, I would love to hear about anything that you have planned for your 101 things list or any kind of similar goal setting system that you're doing for the year ahead. One, I find that hearing about the things that you guys want to do is very inspiring for my own list. And two, by reading other people's comments, you can get more ideas for yours. Feel free to drop a couple of those in the comments below because I would love to read them. While I'm going through my brainstorm, I am just sitting back thinking about, you know, what are the different things that I might like to do for the year ahead? As we've talked about, some of the things on the 101 things list are going to be bigger. Some of them will be smaller. Some of them are like absolutely tiny, like from last year where it was try taro bubble tea. Like that is a very simple to do thing. It still took me until like December to do it. I'm not aiming to get to a full 101 things before the year starts. Honestly, I actually like going into the new year with a not completely filled list because it gives me an opportunity to add other things as I think of them throughout the year. So I have pretty much no intention to fill more than just this page with my brainstormed items. Here's where I got to though. You can see that I got from, what, write my 101 things list for 2024, which we did when we were going through the old journal or the old journal pages. It's not the old journal, I'm still using it. But going from consolidate my Spotify playlists down to take a trip with friends. So the ones that I've added here are go to the US, go to go wild, both things that I know are gonna happen, get a new to us car, make and release a physical product, make another giveaway journal via 12 hour live stream. So something to look forward to. Technically, I'm probably gonna do that twice because I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good time. Have a movie marathon weekend, mainly because this morning I was talking to Vogel and I said, we should have a Spidey day where we do like all the Spider-Man movies. And he's like, that's, that's not, you can't do that in a day. I'm like a Spidey weekend. We will see if it ends up being Spider-Man, but I think it would be a bit of fun. We have pick a date for our wedding because we've been engaged for a hot minute now. Not that you can tell because I'm not wearing my ring, but we've been engaged for a while and we've been meaning to pick it, but you know, state of the world kind of stuff. And with my family all living overseas, actually getting everybody here to have a wedding, 
gonna be a little tricky, but now as things are opened up a bit more, we can actually start thinking about planning that. So try a pumpkin spice drink. This is the kind of thing that I wish I had space on my 101 things list from this year so that I could have added it. So I kind of intentionally didn't get a pumpkin spice drink so that I could put it on my list for next year and then tick it off. I know that's probably like a little bit weird to some people, but eh, it is what it is. I have host a workshop and I do have some workshop ideas in mind, but if you would like to come to a workshop hosted by me, let me know because I think it'd be a bit of fun. We have read and then in brackets finish because that's kind of more what I meant. More of the book club books compared to 2022. I did a pretty good job this year considering I'm not really a reader, but I would like to do a better job of it next year. Do a live pen swatching video, do a live productivity sprint video because both of those I think would be fun. Get a new office floor mat because I don't know if you can hear it, but um, I don't think it's gonna do it right now, but when I roll over my floor mat, it has like giant cracks in it and it goes and it's just, it's just really frustrating. Plus it catches on my socks and I don't want holes in my socks. Organize a new storage solution for the alcohol slash recipe books because they, they're on a storage thing at the moment, but it's not ideal. I just want something better. Get a shared savings account, formalize my level 10 life scale, organize my pen slash supply storage because it's a little bit of a mess at the moment, release printables on my shop because I release them to my patrons already, but it would be nice if I could then list them on my shop as well so that if people just want that kind of perk, then they could just buy it through there, celebrate Scotty and Nathan's wedding, and then take a trip with friends. That is the brainstorming section done. As said, I'm not aiming to have a full 101 things before the year starts, but this is a decent chunk of them. What, it's like 32-ish down and we got to about here. So we're gonna say like roughly 50 or so tasks on here. I mean, we'll know once I start populating the list, which is our next task to do. For this part, we say, welcome back to the Yearly Collections Journal. Now in populating this journal, some of these items I would prefer to have on specific numbers. For example, in terms of my celebrate my 32nd birthday, I would very much like that to be at number 32. <laughs> For having a favorite things day, wherever it is, there it is, I would like that to be at number 11 because 11 is my favorite number, so we can put that one in. Rachel's favorite things day, I mean I'm not sure about what her favorite number is per se, but her birthday is on the 25th, so I'm gonna put it on number 25. And then as mentioned, celebrate my 32nd, I would like on number 32. Another one that I think would be nice to have on a particular number is writing a letter to 2024 me, and I'm gonna put that on number 24. And then I'm pretty sure that everything else can really just go wherever I want it to, except for writing my 101 things list for 2024, which I seem to have a lot of trouble with writing that, but we got it in, it's fine. <laughs> Flipping back though, everything else can just get written down effectively in the order that it's in. Some of them do need to be reworded, so I do take my time to make sure that it's actually worded as a task. Unlike Rachel's favorite things day, which I kind of just wrote in from the list that I'd brainstormed in the brainstorm book. Not ideal, but it's okay. I kept that in mind for the rest of the tasks. I do really love my 101 things, not only for, you know, effectively setting myself an excessive amount of goals for the year, but also just because in years to come, I can look back on the list and it's effectively like a record of achievement. Sure, not everything is checked off, but I can see what kind of things were important to me and what kind of things I accomplished in the year. One of the other benefits I feel with leaving a little bit of space on your 101 things list is that if something memorable does happen, you can kind of retroactively add it to your list and cross it off. This is something that I have totally done before and I am fully supportive of that choice. This list is not supposed to be a burden. It's just supposed to be a place that you can come back to whenever you have some free time or whatnot to see a list of the types of things that you know that you want to do so that then you can actually get some of them done. I feel like a lot of us put off things that would bring us joy even if they're just the really small things. As mentioned, you can have bigger things on your list, like my trip to America. That one's gonna be a big deal for me. I haven't been to the US before. But little things like trying Vietnamese coffee or trying a pumpkin spice drink or things that have been on my list for a really long time, like donate blood, which is still something that I very much want to do. But I can look back through my previous 101 things list, see how much of a priority that was for me, and one year, maybe 2023, it'll actually get checked off and it'll feel like even more of an accomplishment. One thing that I totally forgot to add to my brainstorm but is now on my list is getting a library card because I've been meaning to do that for a while. 
Now as that's written in and my hand is sufficiently sore, you can see that total we ended up with 59 items on the list. So I've got that space to grow throughout the year as I think of other things that I want to add to the list. You do not have to start the new year with all 101 things filled in. But working backwards, we have 101, right, my 101 things list for 2024, taking a trip with friends, celebrating Scotty and Nathan's wedding, formalizing my level 10 life scale, which I think is very necessary because otherwise my ratings aren't necessarily very helpful. Get a shared savings account, do a live productivity sprint video, do a live pens watching, finish more book club books than 2022, host a workshop, flipping back, try a pumpkin spice drink, release printables on my shop, get a new office floor mat, do a sensory deprivation tank, fully unpack my school stuff, have a movie marathon weekend, make and release a physical product, consolidate and organize my Spotify playlists, which has been on my future me problems or someday maybe list for ages. So that can also be a very good place to look for inspiration for your list. Get side tables for the living room, get a new to us car, finish VRA, develop my YouTube memberships, develop a new Patreon tier, make a new Patreon tracker printable, get a living space storage solution, so this is the alcohol cabinet slash recipe books shelf, soft finish my organization of my office, because I know if I put down like finish my organization of my office, I'm just never gonna think that it's done, so soft finish. Host a cocktail night, donate blood, celebrate turning 32, try a traveler's and a square bullet journal, try Vietnamese coffee, those two 12 hour live stream giveaways, though one of them I've written out as a 12 hour live stream giveaway, the other one I've just written out as a giveaway journal, just in case, you know, things could happen. Do another month of planning series, Rachel's favorite things day, write a letter for 2024 Jess to open, make stewed fruits, make a Bujo basic series, make an episode of Kai Time with Vogel, make a Patreon trailer, make good chicken noodle stir fry, this used to be chicken chow mein but I had decided to change it, make tomato soup, make chicken korma from scratch, set a date for our wedding, which I put on the 16th because that's Vogel's birthday and you know, it's related to him. So I thought that'd be kind of cute. We have go to the green expo, go to toast, go for high tea, have good ramen, have my favorite things day on number 11 because it's my favorite number, have a digger station, have a staycation, do a proper website launch, have a spa day, make a Pinterest cake, have an art and wine night, get a will, go to go wild, go to the US and have a solo date, which I put at number one because it's like solo by myself. <laughs> Hopefully having a look at my list has, I don't know, inspired some ideas for your list. As said, would love to hear about what's on your list in the comments below. But if you're looking for more inspiration for your 101 things list, then I do have these two videos on screen which could help you out. Click or tap on one of those and I'll see you over there.